this experiment is to help you understand the potential divider circuit that we do have uh, a resistor this is an 8.2 ohm resistor and then we have a variable resistor there a real start. across the variable resistor we've got a voltmeter which measures the PD across the and then we have another voltmeter connected across the resistor to measure the PD across them. So in theory, what's supposed to take place is that I've set this at 2 volts. So we must have a total of 2 volts on this voltmeter and this voltmeter there. That's in theory. But then in practice, you find that this cannot take place. Why? Because the resistance of the wires are taken to be is taken to be zero theoretically but then in practice the resistance has something to play as well so i'm going to switch on there and see what's going to take place right so we have uh, set it two volts we have zero 1.75 volts there when the resistance on the resistor is zero so it means there's no resistance theoretically we must get a zero on this voltmeter, but we're getting something which is of the order of millivolts. If you want to get the real value of it, sure, it will be something like uh, 27.8 uh, millivolts. So the setting there is on uh, millivolts like that. Right, so removing it from there, it will just be registered as uh, 0 0.03 uh, volts. So if... Uh, in theory, like I said, we have zero resistance there, so we should have the same value of voltage here and there. Now, as I start moving this pointer, I find that the value there decreases. We now have 1.49 over on this uh, voltmeter, and then we are getting 0 0.30 over there. Now, as we keep on increasing, increasing you find that it will come a time on the maximum day where we have 0 0.95 versus 0 0.90 okay mind you the resistance of this the total resistance is 8.5 ohms and now here i've got 8.2 uh, ohms on that color coded resistor so in essence if i add the two values from the voltmeters I should get the total voltage okay so that's how so the PD is shared between the two resistors the fixed resistor and then the variable resistor